Hello, it's Miss Nicole from the South Fanton Bridgeville Libraries, and I'm here today to give you another author and activity. We're going to read the story called The Mitten by Jan Brett. We just read her The Gingerbread Baby a couple weeks ago. So she has a great story about snow and animals and a mitten. So let me show you how to get onto the computer and find her story. So I'm at my computer and I typed in The Mitten by Jan Brett. B-R-E-T-T, -T, on YouTube. It comes with, up with a lot of great The Mitten a read alouds. So I clicked on the first one that says Online Story Time, The Mitten. And Jan Brett herself reads it to us. So enjoy it and come back for a fun mitten activity. Wasn't that story, The Mitten, great? I love how all the animals go into Nikki's mitten and it gets bigger and bigger for them, even a bear. And then the last animal, Little Mouse, is the one that made them all come out. But Nikki found his mitten. Nikki made a white mitten to be like the snow. Grandma thought, you're gonna lose that. But we're gonna make some mittens today and we're gonna practice our lacing skills. So what you wanna do is you want to get some paper, construction paper, any kind of paper. And then you wanna fold it in half like a card. Now you're going to need your grown-up to help you. Your grown-up is going to need to just make a simple mitten. Make sure that they start on the fold. So they go round, make the thumb, and come down. So there's your mitten print. Now you get to cut it out. So you're going to use your scissors. Remember, thumb goes in to the little hole. Put your other two fingers in. Hold the paper in your one hand and your scissors in the other, and you're going to cut it out with your thumb up. So you're gonna end up cutting it out, and it's gonna look like this. It's one mitten that we have to sew together. So now that you have it cut out, your grown-up needs to use a hole punch and punch some holes all the way around, because we have to sew it together. After your grown-up punches all your holes, they need to get a long string. You want it to be long, because you have to go all the way around. They tie the string to one of the ends, and this is an important part, you need some tape. And your grown-up can take a little piece of tape and kind of twirl it around the end, so you're kind of making a needle to get through the holes without the yarn fraying. So now that you have your string ready, you need to go in and then out, in and then out. This is lacing, in and out, all the way around. Now this one, I'm kind of putting my strings on the side, but when I did this one, I just went up and in, up and in, all the way around doesn't matter it's closed and I can stick my little finger in there so after you get all the way around to the end your grown-up can just make a knot and cut off the extra I have lots of extra and now it's time to decorate it I used uh, all kinds of crayons and I made some hearts and a snowman and some snowflakes I put my name on it and another heart you can maybe make one for everyone in your family. And then maybe you want to string them up like a clothesline and have it as a decoration maybe over your mantle or over a window. That would be a lot of fun. So you can make one for dad and one for mom, one for um, yourself and one for your brother. I might put Matt on here, that's my brother's name. And it would be neat to just maybe take another string, loop it through like they're hanging on a clothesline. And then I'll put this one in. And you could have them dangling for a decoration. So I hope you enjoyed making these mittens and the story and you have a great winter time. Bye-bye.